Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the AirThings View Plus. This is an indoor air quality monitor. It was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchange hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just gonna share with you my opinion and my thoughts on using this over the past few days so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the AirThings View Plus. It's a complete indoor air quality monitor. Now, do take note, this is the View Plus. There are other versions available from the manufacturer. And I'll run through all the features on this one, give you a look at the app integration as well. But before we do that, let's take a look at the box contents. So inside the box, you do get some batteries. You get six AA batteries. So you can power this from either battery power or you can plug it in via USB and you obviously get a USB cable included inside the box. You can see that running out here into my USB power supply. The unit itself, we'll take a closer look at very shortly, but the rest of the box contents include some little sort of command strip sticky pads. You're gonna use these if you want to perhaps mount this to a wall, for example. And we also get some regulatory information. We get a quick start guide, and this is gonna guide you through how to get everything up and running with the app and how to interact with the device. This is in multiple languages as well. Of course, you get the device itself. The box details some of the main specs. This is wireless, battery or USB powered, as I told you earlier. Uh, we've got an app and a dashboard. So you can use this with the app on your smartphone, for example, but it will also allow you to look at the uh, monitoring results on a browser interface as well. If we take a look around on the back here, these are the insights that it will give you. This is the uh, details or the various um, measurements it will monitor. So we've got a radon measurement, PM 2.5, CO2, humidity, temperature, VOC, and air pressure. And the app is available in the iOS App Store and Google Play Store. And over time, this will build up uh, a really good set of sort of uh, data for you to monitor various things in your home and act on them to improve things. So for example, with regards to humidity, you may need a dehumidifier or to open a window to improve the air quality, things like that. And the display on the front uses what looks like to be uh, an e-ink technology. It's really very, very cool. This is what it looks like. And at the moment, it's displaying my default preset, which is humidity and temperature. The various uh, sensors are around the device. There's also a motion sensor on the front. So if you sort of wave your hand in front of the device, it will cycle through the various measurements and it gives you an LED indication as to whether these are acceptable, good, or whether you need to take a look at them, i.e. if it's a red indicator, you might need to take some action in your home. It's a really nice, clear and large display and the actual unit itself is pretty lightweight. It's, it's quite a, 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 an easy to handle device with regards to sort of mounting it on a wall. There is a rubberized piece on the bottom. So if you were standing this on a desk, for example, it's uh, got that nice sort of rubber foot. And then round on the back here, this is where the USB cable exits the device. We've got a couple of screw mounts just here. So you could mount it to a wall via this and then slide this back on. This is also the battery compartment as well. So fairly simple design, uh, but very, very effective. And you can see here at the moment it's 23 degrees, 63% humidity. So a nice large display. I was really pleased with how clear this display is. And I like the little LED indication there as well. And the measurements here are of course reflected in the app. So let's take a closer look at the app. I'm on the main dashboard screen at the moment. It's a very clear and well laid out app. This is like the overview screen where it's telling me the air quality is poor and we've got the various measurements uh, summary down here. We can go across to take a look at the radon average, and we can go across one more section. This is PM 
we can go across to here, which is the CO2, and it builds up a graph down here as well. You can look at the last 48 hours, week, month, or year. And as we scroll across, we can take a look at all of these different readings and really keep an eye on the quality of the air inside our home. And as I mentioned earlier, act accordingly. So if the temperature is high, you might open a window or install an air conditioner. And if the humidity is too high, we might install a dehumidifier, or if it's too low, we might go the other way and install a humidifier. So very, very good details given, given to us. And over time, as I said, it builds up this uh, data across the bottom so you can look back and see how things have gone over the last week, month, year, for example. It's a really good app and an absolutely superb device. I think monitoring your air quality indoors is very, very important nowadays. It certainly can have an effect on your health uh, and of course on your uh, belongings as well. For example, if you've got, I don't know, a really nice wardrobe, a walking wardrobe, for example, and you wanna keep a, an eye on the humidity so you don't get damp and mold on your clothes or damp and mold in general in your home is an issue. This allows you to monitor it accurately and act accordingly. I think AirThings have done a, a great job on this. This is the View Plus, so it gives you lots and lots of different measurements. There are other models in the range which are more focused on specific measurements, so they're well worth checking out as well. But the View Plus, I've been very, very impressed with. Now, if you want to purchase one of these for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. So I do encourage you to take a look at the manufacturer's website as well, especially if you don't necessarily need all the measurements that this provides. You can take a look at the other models in the range as well. And if you want to purchase one of these for yourself, there are of course purchasing links in the video description as well. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. And if you've got any questions at all, please do drop them in the comments section below. I wanna thank you all for watching, I really do appreciate it. And uh, please do stick around and watch the Geek and Noise channel. I publish new tech videos pretty much every single day. I'm really uh, still loving making videos and I appreciate your feedback. So leave me some feedback below and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.